Hey, hey, y'all. Come on in and say hey. And let me know you're here. I will get y'all pulled up. I can find y'all. What's up, what's up, y'all? Hi, hi, hi. So, y'all have been asking how I did the candy canes. Um, and I wasn't going to tell y'all and not because I didn't want to, but we learned that in one of my private groups. Um, so, you know, when you're in a paid private group, you shouldn't go live on what you learned in that paid group. Um, so I reached out to Deanna this morning and I was like, hey, can I do your candy cane on live? And she was like, yes, of course. So, that's what I'm doing. Um, you too. I hope everybody has an amazing Thanksgiving. Um, so, I'm going to show y'all how we do the candy canes um, using the chunky ribbon. Now, this gorgeous, those lights just don't do this chunky yarn justice. Um, but look, oh, there you go. So this one is, they've got black licorice. Um, I'm looking for the names. Black, rich, black licorice, blue raspberry. Is that not awesome? They've got, what's the name of this one? Grape and Cool blue. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. They've got the pink. And they've got the root beer. So this one's kind of brown. I know it's kind of hard to see. Um, and then they have, I know they have yellow. Um, and I think that's it. But that's where I got my chunky yarn. So it's from Ranch House Crafts and More. I did look up on the website about an hour ago and they do still have some in stock. So if you want to go grab them, grab them now because they go quickly, y'all. So I used, even made some unicorn candy canes for all those little girls using the pink unicorn ribbon and it matches perfectly. So think outside the box with your colors and what people may be doing for Christmas. And, you know, a lot of people do um, kid theme trees for the kids. And, you know, people do all kinds of things. Um, happy hump day. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this um licorice with this gray glittered snowflake ribbon and the white and we can put in these gorgeous snowflakes it's kind of hard they're almost 3d if you can see that um, that I got from the at-home store. So that's going to be one. And then I'm going to show you how to do two colors using the red and white, just regular chunky yarn. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to be getting the solid colors. I hope they do. Um, good morning. Um, but if you can't, if they don't, I, and I, they don't have it on their website now, 
Um, but you can get this from Hobby Lobby, from uh, Walmart has their brand, um, Michaels. Um, so you can get the solid color anywhere, um, but I hope they start selling the solid colors at Ranch House as well. Hey, good friend. So let me get these out of the way so we can make some candy canes, y'all. <laughs> Hey, 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 everybody coming in. I'm going to bring y'all down. Push y'all back. So, the candy canes came from the Dollar Tree. I ordered them by the case. Um, so, if yours doesn't have any, um, I've missed you too. Um, maybe get with a close friend and y'all can split a case or something. Um, but y'all get you some candy canes. Even use them around your own house decorating. It's so fun. So I'm going to show y'all the way Deanna showed us. Um, so I'm going to use zip ties. Hi, hi. I'm going to unwrap this. All right. So there is our end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out 12 inches. And I'm going to show you what to do with the end when we get there, y'all. Hey, hey, I'm having an amazing day. I'm going to take my zip tie. And I'm just going to zip tie it right to the candy cane. Take that zip tie, bring it underneath. Hello, hello. And clip it off. So that's how I start it. So it's nice and secure to the frame. Okay. Then, all I'm going to do is I'm going to get some excess out. Okay. Now, this is fun. <laughs> I had a ball making these, y'all. I ain't even going to lie. And you're just going to literally take it, wrap it around the candy cane, and you can make this as tight or as loose as you want, but I'm just literally wrapping it and then bringing it down just like that. Well, hello, Loretta. I accept your apology. I honestly do. Um, and I will say this. For anybody that was on yesterday's live, you know, some things were said um, that weren't true, as we're just going to keep wrapping here, um, that weren't true. And I reached out to Loretta because anytime I have a problem, I always reach out to people privately, okay? Um, and we, we talked, and she apologized. So if I can urge any of y'all to do one thing, stop spreading the lies. Um, you know, if you hear something, reach out to that person, ask them what's going on, um, and get the truth. And I, I'm not beating you up, Loretta, I'm really not, but this is a perfect opportunity to make sure that people know you could honestly hurt a business by spreading things that just aren't true. Um, and it, you know, I did not have fear of it hurting my business because I know who I am. And if you guys choose to unfollow me because what somebody else said based on what somebody else heard, then that's on you and not on me. So, I am pretty upfront. I'm very honest. And I tell you like it is, y'all. <laughs> so, 
So I do accept Loretta's apology, and I hope we all take a lesson in this. I really do, because there's no need for it, y'all. There really isn't. This world is, is so small. We have such a short amount of time on it, and we should really all just be given thanks for everything that we have, and especially this time of year. So, so that's it. So we are letting it go, and we are moving on, y'all, because we're crafting and we're happy. So we're just going to keep wrapping, and you can see that I just keep scooting it down. Um, Katrina, or is that how you say it? Or Katiana? Um... I got, I ordered, um, I ordered them by the case on Dollar Tree. Um, so Dollar Tree does still have them in stock um, online, but you have to order them by the case. So if you have, um, if you have a friend um, that lives close to y'all, then share the cost. Um, that way y'all can split it. But you know, a case is $24. So I just order it by the case because I wasn't going to go from store to store trying to find them. That's for sure. Hello, hello, everybody coming in. Isn't this fun? You can sit here. I sat here one day and I literally made these all day watched Netflix <laughs> and just had so much fun. $24 a case. Yeah, you get 24 candy canes um, in a case. So split the cost with somebody, y'all. Oh, you can buy them just by the four, by four, Sheila? I didn't know that. Hey, hey, everybody coming in. We're making candy canes. I got permission from the lady, Miss Deanna Davis, who is amazing and does all kinds of amazing things with yarn, y'all. Um, so I reached out to her this morning and I was like, I want to do your candy canes live. So she said, okay. <laughs> I didn't know you could, I thought you just had to order by the case. So there y'all go. If you just want to order a few, order them online. Because I can almost guarantee you everybody, every store is out. You did one with ribbon for a local lady is ill with me. I've never done one with ribbon, um, but I assume it would be the same process. Just wrapping and scrunching. Oh, are they? I didn't know they faced a different way. Maybe it's just, I mean, you could always face it the other way if you just want the flat side, because the flat side's still just as pretty, y'all. Do, do you sell the glitter balls? I, I do the, um, the large glitter balls, um, Magical Creations. I got her to start doing the small ones um, for the poinsettias. So if you need those, reach out to uh, Magical Creations, and she is making those for y'all. I'm going to show you how I do the end. Because Miss Deanna Davis is so smart. I'm telling you. I've not seen anybody finish the end like this. So... One 
more. All right, so we are at the end. Look how pretty that is. I took three ribbon wrapped candy canes to, oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, so I'm gonna cut 12 inches. That just seems to be about the right length. And so literally all you're gonna do, hello, hello, everybody calling in. Um, you're gonna take the end and you are literally, look how easy this is, y'all. Literally wrap it around the end of your candy cane. Isn't she smart, y'all? Like I would have never thought of this. So I'm literally just wrapping it, if y'all can see that. That way you don't have to worry about hiding that edge with just hot glue. doesn't want to okay and then you're literally just going to take this end grab you a little bit of hot glue and glue it right to the end just like that look how nice and neat that end is and it's totally covered so we're gonna finish this one off the same way just wrapping it right around the frame Isn't it? She's so smart, Lorraine. Exactly. A nice, clean finish. Look, y'all don't tell Deanna how smart she is, because she's going to get a big head. <laughs> and then take it. And glue that right down. This is chunky yarn that I got from Ranch House. So they have they have blues, they have pinks, um, purples, um, blacks, they have root beer. But this came from Ranch House and they did have some still in stock when I looked about an hour ago. Okay, and then just clip it off. Look how stinking cute that is, y'all. So that's gonna be that one. Now I'm gonna show you how I do the, um, the two colors, and then we'll make the bows, and then we will um, finish them off. How about that? How about that? If you can get to, um, I was, um, so it really just depends on how tight you wrap them, um, as to how many you can get. Um, I, pr I don't wrap them. I don't think as tight as Deanna did, um, because I wanted to be able to get two candy canes out of one thingy. And I, that thingy is called a skein, I believe. <laughs> 
All right, so I'm gonna show you, and it's the same concept as that, but I'm gonna do two colors. Now I do both of them at the same time. If you want to um, just do one color and then go back in and do the other, you can, but that's too much work for me, y'all. Y'all know I like simple. The hardest part is finding the end, and I can't believe I did that on the first try. <clears throat> so I'm going to do the same thing. Put both of the red and white together. I'm going to measure out my 12 inches, and I'm going to zip tie both of them to my frame. bring it around to the back and then when you wrap it that yarn will cover up the head of that zip tie so you don't have to worry about it um, showing through okay so we're just gonna do the same thing except I'm doing two colors at once the same way it down a little bit let me pull me out some otherwise I'm gonna get frustrated these pretty quickly these would be awesome for those last minute craft fairs um, because you can whip these up pretty quickly you can even if you're starting to run low at your craft fair you can whip them up right there um, dr. Seuss or where's Wally hat <laughs> Too many times without pulling it down. There we go. All right, hold on. Let me fix it. There we go. Just like that. Who's, are y'all doing um, craft fairs? Or, any, or are they all closed? Is anybody doing any? I don't do them. I did one. And that was only because the VFW asked me. And I can't say no to the VFW. But uh, that was my first and only. It is, they are so quick and easy. And it gives you a different price point um, for your craft show. So if you're looking for, you know, a lower end price point, this is perfect for those. You can even get like the green Hang it, oh my God, hang it upside down and put the stinking elf right here. Oh my God, I'm brilliant, y'all. I need to go get an elf. <laughs> Just hang it upside down. Oh, look, you could even do it like that. <gasps> y'all, I won't be making candy canes all stinking day. Oh, look, they're working. They're going to get the solids, y'all. Yes, I'm so excited. He 
he would. You haven't done one in about three years, but I did a Facebook Live a few days ago and did it well. Oh, awesome. You made it. Um, no, that's okay, Melissa. It is, I want to say it's $7.88 or $7.99. But if that's a lie, I didn't say that. <laughs> but I want to say it's about $8. But you could easily get two candy canes out of that if you don't do it um, as tight. We can't get the frames here, so I buy the tinsel. Oh, there you go. We're crafters. We will always find a way, y'all. Okay. So I'm going to end. Can I get one more? Okay. I'm just going to end it there. So I'm going to measure out my 12 inches that's probably a little more than what I need and I'm gonna do the same thing I need to take my glasses off y'all I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the other one but doing one yarn at a time and wrapping it the same way as the other. Okay, this one takes just a little bit more time, but oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Hold on. Let me undo that. <laughs> it worked perfectly the first time I did it. Okay. And that will give you the red and white stripe at the end. If you just want to do one color, do one color. I'm just going right underneath it. Okay, I'm going to do the last one. See? Look how stinking cute that is. We're making candy canes. That's what we're doing. And we're just going to glue it right to the end. And don't just stick your finger in the glue. <laughs> oh, I'm going to cuss. I'm not going to cuss. <laughs> Just like that. And then just cut it off. Look! Too stinking cute. All right, let's see if we can get this one. Taking it under. I don't think it really matters. Do it however's comfortable for you. Come 
back here. Oh, I forgot my water. In the cute. <laughs> Do the same process. See, do y'all see how OCD I am? So the white ended, so the white has to end on this one too. <laughs> I think my glue gun is putzing out, y'all. I've left it on all night one too many times. Well, there's my mommy. Bermuda, I want to come to Bermuda. Do you have an extra room? <laughs> there you go, y'all. How cute is that? Okay, let's make some bows. So... And look, remember those ball thingies we made yesterday? I haven't done anything with them yet because I'm not done. But those balls that we made would be cute as an accent in these as well. So, all right, for the red and white, I'm gonna use this red, green, and white. And I'm thinking, let's do some polka dots. Teeny. They are not, sadly. My family, my mom and grandma are not coming for Christmas this year. And I can't blame them, you know, COVID and, and everything. So it is what it is. So we're going to get my tails. Come on down. Yes. Okay, y'all. You'll see me in a couple weeks. I'm going to Bermuda. <laughs> now I'm going to be singing that song. What is it? Bermuda. Jamaica. Ooh, I want to take you to, oh, Bermuda, Bahamas. <laughs> All right. For the bows, I do start at five inches. So it's not so overwhelming. I am selling these for $40. 35 just um, with a bow. And then 40 if I add a pick. So I'm still doing the three, two, one. Now, if you want, I mean, you can use all one and a half, um, or you can add a two and a half however you want to do it. <laughs> I did it. I'll go live from B Bermuda, y'all. I promise. All right, and then I'm going to come back, or I'm going to come in with this green. This would be perfect for an elf, y'all. The elf on the shelf. <laughs> so I'm just coming in just a little bit, maybe half an inch. Normally I would come in an inch, but with these I'm only coming in about a half an inch.
Oh, that was good. That was the end of my roll, y'all. That was perfect. All right, coming back in with the white and red polka dot. Judy, it's chunky yarn. And um, the most of the chunky yarn that I showed, you can watch the replay because they have all the colors, came from Ranch House. The black and white buffalo check. Yeah. The, my black and white ones went pretty quickly. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, so there's our bow for that one. Let's make our bow for the other one. And I chose a gray with a white glitter that I love. Why do I have one of these open? I do. Perfect. So doing the same thing, but I'm going to bring in the two and a half inch. Elf better not have... Oh, COVID and be like, I'm right. <laughs> That's just really my go-to bow. You can do any kind of bow you want. Maria. Bring in that gray, that white um, snowflake has glitter in it as well. Is my bow material? Is my bow is is ribbon I'm not sure what you're asking is that what you're asking coming in about a half an inch A wired, yes, it is wired ribbon. You missed everything, Lizzie. Where are you being, girlfriend? I know, I love that snowflake ribbon. All right, let's tie this one off. 
If you finished up your turkey shopping, girl, I did that online. <laughs> it came right to my door. <laughs> Nadine, we gonna have a talk. <laughs> All right, let's get this stuff out of our way. All right, then all we do is, I usually come like just under, I go all the way over and come just under two pecan pies. And then I fish for that inside. Remember that wire, like there's one, two, three, four. I make sure that I go on each side of that wire. run it all the way through to the other side just like that I know it's kind of hard to see find that other wire make sure you go around it did not want people <laughs> oh, I know girl Find it on the other side. Give it a good twist. And then all you need to do is stick that right back in. And it hides or I'll do a better job but I'm trying to do this quick there we go so it hides your pipe cleaner so nothing is gonna hurt your customers door do our ends our bow get our tails all coming the right way there we go I seem to always get one a little bigger than the other. There we go. I might have to run get me an elf, y'all. Because he would look too stinking cute in here. I don't put a hanging loop. I figured the customer can hang it any way they want. But if they have a nail, I mean, it'll just slide right in there and stay. It's not going to go anywhere. tails down and you don't have to do long tails like I do y'all know it's just my thing and then add you a pick or whatever you want to it or you can just sell it like that 
Isn't that cute? All right, let's get this one done and then I'll add that um, um, pick. You're looking for a Santa? Yeah. And you can make these in any color scheme to match anybody's decor. No, Dion. Just go with, if it's in your sign or in the color scheme, it goes, girl. It goes. It's kind of, a, they call it um, black licorice, but it looks more gray to me than black. So I went with the gray, but even if it's black, it still goes. I may be a little colorblind, I don't know. <laughs> Again, I don't know why that why I keep doing that, y'all. Do you also do one where you wrap? I have never done one. Mm -hmm. Um, with the um, ribbon, but I'm sure it's the same concept. I use the Easy Bow Maker. Tails. <gasps> Look how pretty. And then you can add, y'all, I kind of like it just by itself without the candy canes. But I'm going to show you how you do it. So I'm just gonna pull this pick apart. And so if you wanted to add picks, all you're gonna do is stick a little bit of hot glue on there Run it right up in between that yarn. That glue will catch on the yarn and your pick. Just go in at a slight angle so it does not come out the back. Just like that. Let's put one, I don't want this extra. You have those snowflakes, aren't they awesome? 
The snowflakes are from the at-home store. And I'm going to do the same thing right up here. Okay. And I usually add three or the whole pick. Just because I hate having onesies laying around. Because I just end up throwing them away. And there you go. Did I just say yarn? This is this is chunky yarn. Am I saying it wrong? <laughs> um, Teresa, I did five inch loops. So five inch go in about a half an inch. Um, so five, four and a half, and four. Does that make sense? Isn't that pretty, y'all? So here they are, real quick fun projects, and y'all turn that bow upside, or turn that candy cane upside down, put your bow up here facing this way, and put you a daggone stinking elf right there. How stinking cute would that be? <clears throat> Look, y'all know I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to find me one. Thanks. So that's it. Any questions? So you can get the chunky yarn. I was just never seen this style candy cane on. Oh, <laughs> I know. And it's actually got specks of black or gray, if you can see that. It's really gorgeous. So Ranch House Reese and Moore has this yarn. I will show y'all just coming in. Um, So they have the pink and the black licorice. They have the root beer, so it's kind of a brown. And a cool blue. They have a yellow, which I don't know why did I not get yellow. Do y'all have yellow? Um, and then they have the um the grape and the blue raspberry is that not gorgeous gorgeous and she did say they are trying to get the solid colors as well um so i'm excited about that all right any questions Questions, questions. Who's cooking? Who's prepping? Y'all, all I have to do is put my ham in a crock pot with some brown sugar, some pineapple, and the pineapple juice. Let it crock pot for like six hours. I had to make some deviled eggs. That's all I got to do. <laughs> so I got it easy. Um, you can put a hanger on them if you want, but if, I mean, they're really easy to hang if they have, if your customer has a nail um, or the door hanger, it will slide right through there and hang right from the wire. Um, they don't have red, but they are trying to get the solid colors in. I guess the wholesaler is on back order. Um, Melissa, I use the yarn for my yarn balls. Um, for my lollipops, um, do I have any right here? Let me see, let me see. So here are the lollipops that I sell on my website. 
So it is like almost the Grinch style, the green and the red. Um, the yarn balls, I do in the same thing. I cover mine with foam on the back. Um, your COVID test came back negative, yay! The candy canes came from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, but you're, I'm telling you, you are not gonna find them in the stores. You have to order them online. Do I have a tutorials for the Senna's? Oh yeah, I've done many of these um, live. You can go to my YouTube channel and it's on there. Um, that, the glitter balls, um, the, the lollipops, I showed y'all how to make them. So just all, if y'all ever miss a, uh, a live, they're all uploaded to my YouTube channel. So you'll always find them there. Awesome. Okay, no questions? Y'all are easy today. All right, well, I am not gonna bother y'all tomorrow. Um, so I wanna take a moment and just wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Um, I know a lot of us are gonna miss out on families, um, but just know they are alive and well, and that's what we should be focusing on. So everybody have a great Thanksgiving. Uh, the burlap or the twine, the twine you could use on the candy canes as well. Absolutely. So y'all have a happy Thanksgiving and um, I will check in with y'all later. Bye y'all.